Well, we've just covered a lot of systems on kicking uh, the cue ball to an object ball. Now we're going to actually do a, a bank shot for you to kind of explain the basic foundation of bank shots. That's uh, an area that a lot of players have difficulty with. We're going to make this so easy that you can bank almost any ball that is what's called a rolling bank. This is called the M&M rolling bank shot, standard rolling bank shot. It's very simple to calculate. Now I use, again, the midpoint systems in doing this. Uh, it's a three-part system. We have a cue ball with a 5 ball. We're going to bank it over here to the side called cross side. There are other names for bank shots, cross corner, uh, straight out where you do a long bank, straight back under you, things like that. There's actually a bank language. But for this one, we're just going to show you the basic bank shot, and then there are going to be other modifications of banks later that you can acquire through other information I've got on the market. The bottom line is, is that when you're starting this calculation, you simply start by st standing behind the pocket you're going to bank the ball into. So if I stand, I'm going to bank the five into this pocket, so I stand behind this pocket, and I look at the opposite pocket. Now, if you notice across the table at the opposite pocket, I have a, a letter M on the table, which is called the, the mirror image of this pocket. So if I were to look in a mirror, I would actually see this pocket in it. That's called the mirror image of this pocket. So that's the first step, step one. Find the mirror image of the pocket you're going to bank the ball into. The second step is very simple. It involves a midpoint. We take the pocket we're going to bank the ball into, which is here. We're going to take from the five ball to the opening of that pocket, the line, and this shaft is 29 inches long, so the midpoint's 14 and a half, and we put this other M, which stands for the word midpoint, on that line right at the center. Now we have two points, and two points, of course, are simply uh, to describe in terms of mathematical, the source just to be two points, is a straight line. So we connect these two points, M and M. And you'll notice underneath my cue stick, I have uh, this kind of a combination, unit, M and M and M. And basically what that refers to is connecting the two points. I always like to think of it as an accordion. So you stretch out the accordion between the two points and you have a line. Now that line, as you know from our other calculations and some of the other systems, it creates an angle to the cushion. So in relation to this rail, you have an angle where the cue stick goes into that cushion. And then when you move your cue stick parallel over to the five ball, which was used in the calculation, you have a line that you can shoot that five ball down. So it's as simple as shooting down a line. And if you can shoot down a straight line with an object ball, you can make this bank shot. So just as a little refresher, we have the mirror image of the pocket you're going to bank into. We have the midpoint. We connect the two points, which gives you that acute angle to the rail to shoot. When you move parallel over to the five ball, that's where you shoot the five ball right down that line. So let's go ahead and illustrate that now. We'll chalk up. We'll line up for the shot. And uh, we'll try to shoot straight through the shot, OK? Nice smooth stroke. Shoot right down that line, just like this. And the ball pretty much banks in the pocket. Now, I do want to explain one thing that can happen. Sometimes you do a calculation of a bank shot. And when you shoot the shot, the backhand, because of that uh, lack of, say, programming of your muscle mechanics, may have a tendency to go right or left of center, either because of alignment or because the muscle's conditioned prop, uh, improperly. So if you happen to go through your shot and you pull your hand like this, watch what happens to the ball. It goes over and it goes to the other side of the pocket and you'll miss the bank. And sometimes players will uh, feel that the, the system is responsible for missing that bank when in essence it's the mechanics. This kind of goes back to the pure mechanics plus the pure math equals a pure result. So I want you just to be aware of the fact if you make an error on a bank shot, it's usually because the mechanical alignment wasn't correct. Uh, you probably calculated it perfectly. It's pretty easy to get a midpoint in a mirror image and to move over parallel. Everybody can do that. But those mechanics have to be purified. So I want to go back again to the fact that if your mechanics are pure and your math is purely calculated, you'll get a pure result and you'll take your game to the next level and beyond. So I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this particular CSI instructional tip.